Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to calculate the value of x in the equation 49 power x minus 42 power x is equal to 36 power x. First, in this equation, bring this 36 power x to left side. When this comes to this side, it will become a denominator. So, 49 power x minus 42 power x by 36 power x is equal to 1. Now, separate this denominator to each numerator, each value. 49 power x, 1, 36 power x. 42 power x with one denominator, like this. 49 power x by 36 power x minus 42 power x by 36 power x. Now, we know that 49 is 7 square, 36 is 6 square. And this 42 is 7 into 6, multiple of 7 and 6. So, write it like this. 7 square is 49. 6 square is 36. Here also, 6 square is 36. This 42 is written as 7 into 6. And power is distributed to both. Now, we are having a formula a power m whole power n is equal to a power n whole power m. So, the powers are interchanging their places. So, when we apply this formula here, the 2 will go outside and the x will come inside. Similarly, here also 6 square whole power x will become 6 power x whole power 2. 2 will go outside and x will come inside. So, this equation will become 7 power x whole power 2. 6 power x whole power 2 minus this part will remain same. And this, this will become 6 power x whole power 2. Now, write this squares as multiples. 7x whole square as 7x into 7x. 6x whole square as 6x into 6x. 6x whole square as 6x whole square like this. So, from here, take 7 power x by 6 power x as common from these two. So, it will become 7 power x by 6 power x as common into here 1 more 7 power x by 6 power x is remaining. In this part, 6 power x by 6 power x is remaining. So, so when we take common, this is the values remaining in the brackets. So, we can see that the same value is there in numerator and denominator which is 6 power x and 6 power x which we can cancel and it will become 1. So, this equation will become like this. 6, 7 power x by 6 power x into 7 power x by 6 power x minus 1. In this equation, let us take 7 power x by 6 power x as t. So, this equation will become like this. t into t minus 1 is equal to 1. Multiply this with a t t into t is t square, t into 1, t, and bring this one to left side. So, this is the equation of a quadratic form ax square plus bx plus c, which is having a solution of x as minus b plus r minus b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, and c is equal to minus 1. So, when you substitute this value, so a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to minus 1 in this, it will become like this. t is equal to minus of minus 1. Minus of b is minus of minus 1 plus or minus minus b whole square, which is minus 1 whole square. Minus 4 into a is 1 into c is minus 1 divided by 2 into 1 is nothing but a. So, it will become minus into minus plus plus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 whole square become plus 1 minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 1 plus 4 is 5 1 plus or minus square root of 5 by 2. So, for this t is equal to 1 plus or minus 5 by 2 we are having two possible values. 1 is t is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 by 2. The other one is t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 by 2. Let's take this 1 minus 5 by 2 first. 
Now square root of y is 2 point something, 2.2 something like it will come. Why? Because it is greater than 4, which is the square of 2. If it is 4, the value will be 2. Here we can see that it is more than 4. So it will be 2 point something, more than, more than 2. So when we subtract 1 from 2, it will be a negative value. So result will be, total will be negative only. So here it is not a real solution. So we can ignore this part. 1 minus square root of 5 by 2. This section we can ignore. Now go to this section. t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 by 2. You know that t is equal to 7 power x by 6 power x. Is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 by 2. Just we are replacing the value of t with 7 power x with 7 power x by 6 power x. Now we are having a formula a power x by b power x is equal to a by b whole power x. By applying that formula, we have combined this 7 by 6 and whole power x we have written. Now, apply log on both sides. For this equation, apply log on both sides. So, it will become log of 7 by 6 whole power x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 by 2. We are having a formula log of a power n is equal to n into log n. So, this x will come front. So, it will become x into log of 7 by 6 is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 by 2 as it is it will remain. Now, when we send this log of 7 by 6 to this side, it will become like this. x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 by 2 divided by log of 7 by 6. This is the value of x. We can stop it here itself or even more we can simplify like this. We are having a formula log a by log b is equal to log a to the base b. So by applying this formula to this, we can write x as x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 by 2. And this log of 7 by 6, we are writing it, it as base 7 by 6. So the value of x is log of 1 plus square root of 5 by 2 to the base 7 by 6. Thank you.